Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Blind for the Nintendo 64 last episode. What did we do? We uh, got every single puzzle piece in Mad Monster Mansion except for... Uh, which one was it? Oh, the one in the... Um, in the damn... whatchamacallit? Man, I am having a brain fart right now. Okay, there we go. So, I need to come over here and grab this puzzle piece, which we got for the Grunty Switch in Mad Monster Mansion. So that makes eight in the overworld. Man, she has glass eyes. Okay, then. Okay, I will meet everyone uh, in the mansion. Okay, so we're here at Mad Monster Mansion. We have one more puzzle piece to get, which is inside the mansion. Perfectly good for us. All right, so I was told... It has a one-up on the chandelier, huh? I was told that the thing about this is the floor creaks. Dang. Okay. All right, so we woke him up that way. We need to make him be not awake, or, or in layman's terms, we need him to stay asleep. So what I'm gonna have to do, I guess, because the first time I ever even came in here was via the roof. So. That's what I'm going to have to do this time as well. Because you can jump across the chairs that way and then do it that way. And I was also told by most people, people really don't care that uh, if I just go and do the notes off screen. So that is what I'm going to do before the next episode. And alright, here we go. So we have to use the chairs as stepping stones. And can I just get on the table or? Okay. Can I just jump into him? That was easy. Grunty's gold, how it's, sh how it's shown. She'll be mad, now it's gone. Yes, I'm mad. My boot I'll put up your useless spooky butt. Put and butt do not rhyme. I call rhyme shenanigans. I call rhyme nanigans. Rhyme nanigans. Okay, what is this for? Other than the one-up. Is there anything up here? No, okay, there's eggs. We don't need eggs. Okay, I'll just take the one up then. Or not, I'll just fall. You know, that's cool too. Okay, so now we're pretty much completely done with this level except for the musical notes. So now what I want to go do is go to the new area that I can access when I uh, mess with the water level. And where is that? I forget. It is... Oh, I remember. Okay, yeah, that's right. It is up top of this area in in ha got to go up the hill Whoa, where am I where am I oh no not this not this area I'm talking about the one with Grunty's large face and we sure have a lot of stuff Jeez, I'm I feel like I'm I feel like I'm very close to beating the game but um I don't know I could be wrong cuz like I said in the last episode you need 94 puzzle pieces we have I mean, is, is there an overall total? See, there's 8 there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and then 8 in the overworld, so that's 78. So we still need 16 more puzzle pieces. God, that is just... Mm, that's ridiculous. It's absolutely just ridiculous. Alright, so let's go up here. I do know the next level entrance is very close to the area it showed in the cutscene. When the oh hey, it rose here as well. Okay, let's go up here. Um, can I go? I can go first person in the water. Is there anything? There's a mumbo token, a musical note door. We need to raise it one more level. All right. So we can't do anything here. We need to go to the next area. Which, it looked like a very industrial 
level. It's going to be interesting. I know it's not Click Clock Wood. Apparently, that's the last level. Because I went back and checked that picture off screen, and it's still not puzzle peaceable, if you will. It looks like Frantic Factory. I'm going to Frantic Factory. Oh, one of these bastards that comes out of the wall. Die. Okay. Um, there's something. You can't push in this game. Okay, you die as well. Um, where the heck am I supposed to go? This is very interesting. Oh yeah, I, today... Oh, whoa, a rareware box! Whoa, that's... Whoa. And there's nothing... There's an opening there. This all intrigues me. And there's golden feathers up there. Alright, we have a bunch of places to explore then. Yeah, earlier today I went to the... Oh, it's a cauldron! The, um... Colts Falcons game. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, neat. Yeah, Colts Falcons. And the Colts got whooped again. Now they're 0-9. And I'm very disappointed in that. But it's my team, and I'll, I'll ride with them. Oh, a switch! It's a water switch! Which raises the water even more. Okay. That's what we needed. And I like their little product placement that they put the railroad symbol on it. Um... Man, I wish I wouldn't have killed those things in the wall, because now they would drown! And drowning is a good thing when it happens to your enemies. Okay, what's over here? Entrance to another area! There's a beehive... thing... What is the official name? A beekeeper's... bee... a bee house? A bee condo? A bee hotel? And there's a grate. Are we going to be able to get through it? No, we are not. We have to turn around. Okay, this is kind of dumb. Yeah, at the, at the game today, as you would expect. See, I have the cheap seats. Season tickets, but cheap seats. And again, there were um, Falcons fans. There's always fans of the opposing team up where I am because those are like the most affordable tickets and that's where all the other people end up. There were a couple Falcons fans in the row right behind me. And they were they were drunk. I don't want to say they were super drunk, but they were drunk. And near the end of the game, when the Falcons scored their what fourth touchdown and had it iced the game, um <laughs> the one of the drunk Falcons fans stood up as the Colts fans filed out and he was like Bye! Thanks for coming! And like everything like that. And he was so loud and wouldn't shut the hell up that, uh, what the heck? <laughs> that a guy, like one of the service guys, I wouldn't say security, but like a guy that worked there who had the authority to put, to kick him out at least. He uh, sat down there with him, you know, when he had his little microphone on and his clipboard and everything, and he sat there and was talking to him. Oh, man. 640. And past this door. What the heck? Oh, there's a water switch over there. Oh, can I make it to that? No? Yeah, the guy sat down with his clipboard and was talking to him and was telling him to calm down. And the drunk guy was just talking to him and he was like... He said, uh... What does your clipboard say? It was the funniest thing. Can I get... No, I can't get over there. So... And, and there's no point to this... Aha! Interesting! I found it a secret thing, kind of. So I can walk up here. What's up here? Oh, I can get the water switch this way. Okay, neat. So there were three of these water switches. Oh crap, what? What? That's a bomb. Why do I need this? What? What is relevant about this switch? What? Um, there's a mumbo token. I assume it's in the next room? Um, okay, I'll wait for the time to go and then do it again. Huh. I didn't see anything in the next room. Okay, reset. Hit and haul ass. Oh, I got a head start. Hey. 
Yeah, I would. It's nothing in this room. No, but then the next room you have to go through. It wouldn't apply when you go through the next room. I'm confused. Can you tell? Does it still apply? It does. The time. Okay. F swim upward. I almost said fly. Swim, swim, swim. Is there anything? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, I gotta make it. Gotta make it. Oh, wow. Wow, that was close. Wow. Okay. Now we're on track. Where the hell are we? It's a Cheeto. Is this the last one of the game? Baron Bird getting good at finding Cheeto. So another spell they shall have. That traitor book has pushed its luck. So in the burning fire, I'll chuck. That wasn't the UCK word I was thinking of rhyming. Find Cheeto, which won't. Cody must enter on Sandcastle floor. Is, er, treasure trove is gold feathers. That's not a surprise. Gold feathers. Okay then. And that is the last, the last Cheeto of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Is there anything else we could have missed with the high water level? Huh. All right. So I will meet you guys back at the treasure trove cove floor with our code gold feathers. Be right back. Okay, here we are inside the sand castle. The first thing I need to do is murder the crab. I killed Mr. Krabs. You're too stingy to live. Okay. Now, gold feathers. Where's the G? Here we go. G? Oh, this really wasn't a surprise in what the code was. I honestly probably could have came here and entered it. I mean, can you... Does anybody know? Can you enter the codes without getting to Cheeto first? Is that feasible? Like, if I were to, for example, start a new game and then get here and then enter all three codes without ever going to a Cheeto, would they work? I'm very curious. Because it's v not very hard. Blue eggs, red feathers, gold feathers. I mean, anybody could have guessed that. Honestly. That's the last one I can think of, too. 20 gold feathers you get. New maximum 20 is. That's not a very big uh, increase. Gold feathers you may have 20, but bruises still have... Still get plenty. Mick. Plenty. Okay. So, let's view the totals here. I realize that I really need to go and, um... You know, take care of all the notes first, because we can't get through the next door. We have a total... I wish it would show... Okay, here we go. Game total. Thank you. 512 total notes. We need 640 to get through the next note door. We have 78 jiggies. 19. Okay, so 640 minus 512 is 128. Correct? So where's 128 extra notes? There's... We got all of them in Mumbo's Mountain. There's 11 there, so that's 11. There's 39 there, so that's 50. Uh, 17, that's 67. I'm doing math. 67, there's 23 there. Uh, so that's 90. And then 29 more in Gobi Valley, so that's 119. And then Mad Monster Mansion, we need 69, giggity. So 69 and 119, that's 186, I believe. Pretty sure. So we need 100 and... Gosh, that's, that's ridiculous. All right, so in the next episode, I am going to have enough notes, and we're going to enter the next note door and see what the hell is over there. All right, so until then, I'm Broken Champion. We're done here.